I'm Dr. Jennifer West with Fur Baby Doc, and today we're covering what to do if your cat or dog ingests a topical flea or tick preventative. Now, first off, where do we apply these products? Flea tick prevention that is in the topical on skin form. You want to kind of part the fur or the hair between um, the shoulder blades, so right in the back in an area where they can't quite reach as easily and part the fur and apply it in that area. You want to then leave it be, don't bathe your pet, allow it to dry. Cats and dogs are notorious for being able to bend and get to areas we didn't think they would. Or they may also groom another pet in the household that had the products applied. If this happens, for the vast majority of these products, it is very safe. Now, there's one exception in cats that we'll go into next, but for the majority of these products, if a cat or dog ingests some from themselves or a housemate, it is going to be okay. Systemically, they're not going to have adverse issues that require significant medical attention. They are likely to find it very bitter tasting, so they may lick their lips a lot, they may salivate, they may lick surfaces around the house, and they may vomit. Those are all indications that something is bitter tasting and that they are nauseous. Other than that, they aren't going to likely experience any other adverse reactions. You can feed them something that's tasty. So for cats, I tend to recommend tuna um, because it has a nice juice flavor. Um, for dogs, I mean chicken, turkey, whatever treats you have that'll help just kind of cleanse their palate. And then do your best to prevent them from getting to that area again, whether that's separating from the pets until things have dried or applying a cone, an e-collar, whatever you need to do to help them not access that area. One, number one issue, other than them feeling a bit sick, is the, the product isn't going to be as efficacious if an animal's licking our off part of it, they won't get the full dose. The one exception that is dangerous is for cats. If they ingest permethrin products, and I'll include a, a comment um, in the description on permethrin. That is the one product. It is only going to be in dog canine products, but if you don't realize and you pick up something or you use something for your dog, be very careful using a canine dog product on a cat. Different story, dogs tend to be safe, but cats cannot have permethrin. They will have seizures and they do need medical attention. So if you make an accident, get them to a vet. The number one thing to do if you can safely do so if you realize you made a mistake and your cat is having a reaction or has permethrin product, is to bathe them, give them a bath. Don't soak their head, don't submerge them. Um, and also if they're already stressed out and starting to have seizures, just get to a veterinary hospital. But trying to bathe them and clean off that product is going to be one of the mainstays of therapy to prevent systemic absorption and continued exposure risk. Um, the way to bathe an animal is to either use a pet-friendly shampoo or Dawn dish soap. I do actually have a preference for Dawn dish soap over others because I used to work with wildlife and with oiled animals, Dawn always performs the best as far as making sure it's both um, most efficacious in getting products off um, and safe for animals. Just dilute the dish soap before applying and make sure you rinse it off thoroughly so there isn't gonna be residue which can be irritating to skin. By and large, these products, these flea and tick preventatives that are topical are very safe. Some animals will have a rash, a skin irritation after, but overall, the majority of animals do really well. And please reach out if you have any other questions.